What's up everybody, I'm Tessaly and in this video I'm sharing with you the fashion rules that I no longer follow. I've been doing this fashion thing for like three years now so I've done a lot of research, I read so many articles so in the process I've learned a thing or two which I really want to pass along to you guys so if you are in the same process of figuring out your personal style, developing your personal style, just keep watching. Alright so the first fashion rule that I no longer longer follow is to wear clothes that fit you this is just such a bogus rule and let's be honest rules are meant to be broken right <laughs> well not all rules don't get into trouble now and blame me but especially fashion rules I think that fashion is such a fun thing such a creative thing that there are certain things that are tried and true, like the classics, you know, I am a big classics fanatic, but even in that realm of, uh, of, of classics, I still like to experiment, I still like to uh, try new things, and especially the oversized, in the oversized world that we're living in right now, this rule is just, does not apply at all anymore. I mean, look at this shirt that i'm wearing right here it doesn't really fit me properly but i mean i just love how you can pair something very form-fitting underneath with an oversized shirt it's just for me such an easy outfit that pretty much guaranteed to look good so this rule for me is just a no-no i am a big oversized girl i mean look at all my blazers um my shirts like i said my t-shirts mostly are oversized my jackets so um even my pants sometimes i just make sure that around the waist it's nice and cinched in but other than that i just love the oversized look and it's not only me i mean oversized things are just so mainstream um, at the moment so obviously i'm not the only one who has broken this rule all right the rule number two is you always have to match your shoes with your bag and just before we get into this rule first of all who made these rules right i mean who who is paying for all of these things i'm paying you know it's my coin so i decide what i should and shouldn't wear you know so that's always something that i've been very cautious about when making my videos I always try to give you guys advice and tell you tips of, um, you know, on things that have been working for me, but I never tell you like this should, you know, you should wear this with that or um, otherwise it will look so bad or so ugly. I steer away from that because like I said in the beginning, fashion is just so personal. You can use your creativity and go, you know, a, a bunch of different routes with it but that aside i just really don't believe in this rule that your handbag should um, match your shoes like perfectly this is to me so 1950s you know back in the day you used to buy the handbag along with the shoes that's your set because also back in the day you didn't have mostly people didn't have like a bunch of different options so that was the way to do it back then but nowadays there are so many options um, so many inspirations as well that we can take from so I really don't believe in this rule fashion is so fun and free to me and you know it's just a pity if you're trying to match your shoes and your handbag exactly the same same color and let alone same color also same texture like there are so many different textures to play around with like I love pairing my leather handbag with like my sneakers um, that are maybe from textile or um, also I have a furry handbag or not a furry like a shirling handbag that I love to pair with my leather boots for example so I love combining the textures first of all and also the color for me it doesn't have to be the exact same shape of green for example or even like I have my green handbag I don't have any green shoes 
because I just don't think that everything has to be matchy matchy even when it comes to black sometimes I try to steer away from you know having everything black unless I'm doing it very intentionally white is the same thing because white for me is like a very it is a pop of no 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 how do, should I put this not a pop of color but it is like a very saturated color i know how to put this but in comparison to black or tan you know if you have a white pair of shoes or a white pair of sandals or a white handbag sometimes if you look at the whole outfit it can be a little bit too white and white so i try to stay away from pairing my white sandals with my white handbag mostly i pair my white sandals with a tan handbag or my white handbag with my tan sandals or black and white which is also a beautiful color combination but unless I'm very, being very intentional about it I don't really pair the white stuff with the white stuff or the tan with the tan or the black with the black you, you understand what I'm saying uh, now don't get me wrong there are a few outfits that I've seen out there where you have like the perfect matching set of the handbag with the shoes but in those cases, it's being done again very intentionally to make a statement and then for to create cohesion. And in those cases, I agree it does look good, but you don't. I would say to use this more as a fashion moment and not as a rule that you have to follow every step of the way. And talking about color and the material, also the aesthetic can be something that you can play around with. So say you are wearing a very like tomboyish kind of outfit with your Jordans, whatever, you can pair a sparkly handbag with this easily like those fendi baguettes with all those sparkles or the prada bags with the sparkles doesn't have to be luxury but i'm just saying like to point those out which are like signature sparkly bags it can look super cute and you can do the other way around as well so you can pair your flowy dresses with a cute backpack to make it a little bit more casual um so there are a lot of things that you can play around with you don't have to be like because your outfit is super dressy that your handbag or your shoes have to be dressy as well you can literally experiment with this a bunch of different ways and i remember that i used to be like you don't i can't wear this handbag because i don't have a perfect shoe to match with it this is just but this is like 10 years ago you know the, the days that i was still in my bubble that i didn't really care about fashion that not that i didn't care but i wasn't um as um educated in the fashion uh, space but nowadays i really don't care i i mix my things all the freaking time all right rule number three is that leggings are only for workouts and this is just bullshit i'm sorry but if you know me you know how much i love my leggings and i just can't live without my leggings it's just the way that a legging snatches you in the right places. There is just nothing like it. Now, I do understand that there is a time and a place for leggings, but especially, you know, if you're going to a work workplace or if you work in an office that's super dressy, of course, you're not going to go there with your leggings, but even like I really don't care so I have these pair of leggings with a split hem that look a little bit dressier than your normal Lululemon <laughs> leggings but I wear them to work comfortably and I just make sure that my bum is covered because I don't want to be drawing attention that, that kind of attention at my workplace um, but yeah I just I wear them all the time and some some of my leggings are even um, more expensive than my dressy pants so I better get my money's worth like my cost per wear needs to go down but no seriously I just love the way a legging it, the look of it especially during fall and winter like there is nothing more chicer and sleeker than you know your leggings your knee-high boots a nice coat over it it's just it's just giving you know and I have so many different leggings. I have the ones that I work out in. I have my patent leather ones, which I need to really wear them a little bit more often, but just patent leather leggings. 
you there is a time and a place for those but whenever you put them on it's just so good so good chef's kiss like honestly it's not something that you wear every day but it looks beautiful and i also have the split hem ones from and other stories i have a couple of um ones from nike to work out in like i said and of course my leather ones as well the ones from spanx which is like a tried and true one from Abercrombie. i'll link a couple of my favorite ones below so you can check them out all right another nonsense rule is uh, rule number four sweatpants are only to be worn inside the house clearly the people who made this rule didn't live in the pandemic years because after 2020 everything changed i mean just look at how at leisure became such a big business nowadays like at the look at how big lululemon for example got you might i mean we all saw the spike in at leisure you can see from high street stores to like luxury brands they all carry some type of at leisure range at the moment and honestly i also think this attributed to the the influence of virgil of low his work you know the swag that he brought into streetwear it's just so dope also if you look at how um the line of beyonce ivy park combination with Ad, uh, adidas or kanye also with adidas it's just it's such a big business that i think it's here to stay so definitely i really don't believe in this um in this rule i have a sweatsuit from frankie shop which is like so premium good quality it is if you look at like in the grand scheme of things it is expensive for um a sweat a pair of sweatpants because usually in the past we used to think that sweatpants is something you wear inside the house 20 bucks and you're good to go and honestly you can get good sweatpants for that price but nowadays i wear my sweatsuit just as my normal regular clothes so i want something of good quality so i don't mind to invest in them a little bit and equally from like even luxury brands like fendi louis vuitton they all dior even like they all have some very beautiful at leisure pieces and i feel like you can wear them you can wear them out and about just to go about your day do your business no i don't care about what what any rule says um just make it chic you can make it you can dress it up you can dress it down you can wear it super oversized if you want you can wear it a little bit more fitted like even a style that i rock all the time is like my sweatpants cute little crop top and like a big oversized blazer i just love that style it's very um easy also i don't have to think about it looks good and that's it with my sneakers if you are someone who loves to wear hats you can put your hat and that's it so easy comfortable but still looks chic and honestly i think for a sweatpants or sweatsuit if you're going for a set it's all about your accessories so very cute handbag with it like i said in the beginning maybe you are going for a whole like oversized baggy uh, outfit with your jordans you know with your sweatpants but very cute little handbag with it and you're just making it a little bit more girly put together so there are so many ways to play around with it maybe a link chain as well gold hoops i don't know whatever you do just accessorize it make it look cute and just own it now the fifth rule is don't wear white after labor day and the more i got into fashion i started hearing this and lately i even heard don't wear white after 4th of july i don't know what kind of ridiculousness this is but in my book white is an all year round color white is such a staple color it looks good with everything it looks good on i think every single skin tone even it just radiates cleanliness and just pureness you know i don't understand why you would limit yourself to only wearing white in a couple of months of the year that's just too stupid to me <laughs> clearly these people have never heard of winter whites which is just magical in my view and i understand that when it comes to spring and summer my wardrobe also has a lot of more of those lighter colors like the beiges 
and you know the white dress and the sundress uh, you know things like that i understand and i think it's beautiful in the spring and summer but also in fall and winter yeah like you think i'm not gonna wear my white shirt and my white t-shirt my white sweater a white blazer a white coat white boots what what, what is this what is going on <laughs> it's just such a you know such a basic color that you can wear so many different ways with so many different things and it just looks so good i really don't understand this rule so this is literally does not exist in my fashion book at all but that's it for this video you guys i really hope that you enjoyed it i love doing these sit down videos now a little bit more because i think that it's not always about giving you outfit inspiration but also giving you a little bit of the educational content as well so we learn and grow together and just remember that you know fashion is supposed to be fun it's not supposed to be about these outdated rules so leave those in the past don't restrict yourself from anything experiment with everything and just embrace your own style and that's really what it is about I, that's why i love fashion so much there is no right or wrong um do what makes you feel the best so i really hope you enjoyed this like i said and yeah i'll see you in my next video next sunday bye